It's PMAC Movies back in the movie room for a brand new PMAC Movies haul video here. Just got home from work and I got a um, order that I made from MVD. Um, MVD Entertainment maybe is their website. Um, they have sales every once in a while, decent sales. They have their Rewind collection. Um, probably their better like Rewind collection sale is around the holidays. They do offer uh, over seventy every over seventy five dollar free shipping now. They didn't in the past, um, which would have helped me this past uh, holiday time because I'm pretty sure I spent well over seventy five dollars uh, for free shipping. But otherwise, it's eight dollars, um, and I didn't have this. So this sale here. There was a few MVD rewinds in here that were uh, a quite a bargain price. I already had them, um, which some of them I might have paid around the same price. Some of them might maybe a little bit more. Um, but nonetheless, there was a lot of cheapies. There was a lot of cheapies that I did not feel were worth buying as low as $2. Um, I did get some of the $2 ones, but I also passed on a fair amount of the $2 ones. Um, so we're going to take a look at what I got. I don't, you know, I went through this several times. I was like, eh, I don't, I don't really need this stuff. I'm not going to place an order. And then I'd go through it again. And I'm like, mm, just not, not quite. Um, and I eventually felt like I came to putting together 12 items that it, it made sense to be able to get for those very cheap prices. And then the $8 shipping. So that's less than a dollar for, for each item. Um, which they're already very, very affordable, with the most expensive being $5. I think this sale has since ended. It was supposed to have ended. So unless they, like, extended it, it, it has ended. Um, I got this towards the end of it. I, I decided to place my order. So this is a movie that I've, I've been interested in for a while. I wasn't going to pay, like, $10 or even $8 or whatever they wanted for it, but it dropped down to $5.00. And I did decide to get Pamela Anderson in Snapdragon. I mean, this is prime year Pamela Anderson. You must be here if you're if you're a '90s person, which I grew up in the '90s. Um, I'm grabbing these off the floor because the desk is absolutely jam packed full of movies. We had Amazon Prime Day, we had Target Buy to get one, and I don't think I've shown any of those off in a haul video, but I'm showing this crap in MVD Rewind. This great stuff from NVD Rewind. But we do have Orlando Bloom in Haven here. So this was only $4. And this is one that I did have on DVD in the past. Um, it also has Anthony Mackie, Bill Paxton, and Zoe Saldana. So it's, it's, it's got quite the cast in it, actually. And I don't remember, like, I remember it getting quite bad reviews. But I didn't think that the movie was really that bad. So, um, for four bucks, I was interested in grabbing it, uh, to check it out again. This one I really know little about, but the cast seems great. It seemed to get pretty poor reviews for how solid the cast is. Um, I was thinking this was like a 90s movie, but it looks like maybe it was a 2007. I didn't, I, I guess I thought it was older than that. Um, it is Anthony Hopkins, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Alec Baldwin, Dan Aykroyd, Kim Cattrall, and Shortcut to Happiness here on Blu-ray. Four Bones. We got that for Four Bones. This is another one that I have on DVD, and I remember this just being kind of a quirky movie, but I remember it being fairly decent. So for $4, Will Ferrell in Winter Passing. This also has Zoe Deschanel. Ed Harris, and whoever Amelia Warner is. So interesting to be able to get this on Blu-ray from MVD for only $4. This this is more of a, I think, a drama movie. You know, you think of Will Ferrell and you think of silly comedy. And it might have, it might be kind of a dark comedy type of thing, but I remember it being more of a drama. Um, but we'll see. I don't really remember much from it. Also at $4. This seemed like maybe one of the better $4 ones. Um, directed by Rod Lurie. It is Samuel L. Jackson. It is Heartthrob. 
Josh Hartnett, back when he was a heartthrob, maybe. It is uh, Resurrecting the Champ. Josh Hartnett went downhill. This is from 2007. Um, so this, I mean, it just looked like a pretty solid one. I think I had actually read decent things about that movie. Um, then we'll go down to the $3 ones. We got Kevin Bacon and a young Evan Rachel Wood. A film by Timothy Hutt, Digging to China. So this is uh, like a total drama type of movie is um it sounds like this young girl befriends this uh um i don't know if he's mentally handicapped or whatever uh kevin bacon character where he's how, how do they how do they put it uh mentally challenged what what are you allowed to say these days i don't i don't even know gotta be careful the last $3 one, we got another all-star cast. Uh, Thomas Jane, Keanu Reeves, Adrian Brody, Claire Forlani. Um, I don't know the other two people. It is the last time I committed suicide here. Actually read some pretty good things about this movie also. And this is a 90s movie. It looks like 97. So, seemed like a pretty decent one for... For the price I paid. Then we got a few $2 ones. So this one I really didn't know anything about. I didn't actually even find this in the sale. I just saw that somebody else said that they ordered it. And uh, I looked it up and decided to grab it for $2. Seemed like something different to add to the collection. Um, it is Tana here. This is a, a widely regarded, well-reviewed movie here. So an interesting... I, I don't know if it's about like... Uh, it says official entry Australia best foreign language film. Um, I don't know. Sounded pretty good though. This one sounded solid for two dollars. This is one I've passed on quite a few times. Uh, it is Vin Diesel. I, I think he like represents himself in a in a trial. So I thought that would be pretty interesting to see. It is find me guilty here. And I do like some Vin Diesel. I am a fan. Um, this one... I just remember seeing this one and I like thinking, oh, that's pretty cool, but I ain't paying much money for it. Well, it's two bucks. It's got John Hurt, Carrie Ann Ma Moss, um, Joe Petoliano. It is new blood here on Blu-ray. Only two bones. Um, this looks like just like an indie horror movie which sometimes can be very good look like it got pretty mixed reviews um some thinking that it was quite poor some that it was decent um i figure i i tend to like indie horror movies so i'd give it a chance at two dollars not not really losing much if it sucks it is night at the eagle in here on blu-ray what sucks frank costanza seinfeld and then the classic story i remember reading like the old story of this and we got dave matthews is in this it is where the red fern grows here we, it looks like we got chris christopherson um ned Beatty, and uh this is from 2003 i think it says maybe so it actually fairly well regarded i think maybe it was just like either a direct -to video or like a tv movie but uh Sounded sounded pretty good, and I uh, kind of remember the story where the red fern grows being pretty good. Maybe Layla will like it. Um, so yeah, quite the quite the bargain haul here. Twelve movies. Um, the eight dollar shipping did hurt a little bit, but uh, I wasn't gonna try to get free shipping because there was just I was gonna end up buying just a crap ton of movies that I did not want and um I thought these were all solid selections for one way or another I just threw them in the corner um let me know what you got from the MVD entertainment sale let me know about these movies that I snagged up have you have you watched any of these and we will see you next time on PMAG movies